Our friend Thomas here, GC1 player, looking for some small tips for his 2v2 gameplay here. I believe he said he was freshly GC1 in this game, so, you know, a lot of good points I'm sure we can make here for those who are trying to get to the next step and is in threes, so the speed of play is going to be insane, I can already tell. So we get a nice roller to us, the ball comes in hot, so I mean the ball goes to the ceiling. It's not what we like to see. Um, doesn't quite work out. But alright, so we got our rotation back. And damn, we just we have a goal right here, so let's see what happens. Good rotation for Thomas. I, I like the squishy kind of fall out of the, out of the back of the net. Kind of preserves your momentum a little bit better, especially when the ball isn't actively trying to go into your net. Like, rotating back post is great, and you should play out of the net. <clears throat> but sometimes it can be slow. And this is a little faster and can work as just as well. Um, we have a whiff in the middle of the field, and looks like blue team was going to score immediately, which is really nice. It's always good to have that one goal come... Um, uh, one goal cushion. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, orange team, being very aggressive. Multiple touches, almost gets the double, but Thomas rotates back calm, calmly and plays this away. <clears throat> so nothing too scary there. Almost have another sh goal. So we're getting lots of multiple touches. <clears throat> When we see that, that's something we need to be careful of and just play slightly farther back for the most part if we're going to give them free touches. Thomas is doing a good job of that. His teammate able to play it that way. And this is the job of the sec of the back post guy here. Um, Thomas does the best he can. That ball is kind of go going behind him. So he is already a little too far forward to go for it. <clears throat> Tries to, which is fine. That way he does protect the front post. But ultimately it is his back post man to go get that. Trying to play it to his teammate. Just plays it a little too high. It makes it so his teammate actually can't go for it. Which is unfortunate. Right, we're trying to rotate around. Trying to be middle of the field. Our teammate was just hanging around. Nothing came of it. And then we just play a shot trying to keep pressure. Which is going well. We're keeping pressure really well right now. Good clear from the orange side. And then, yeah, notice how Thomas, he, when he hits this ball to the side here, so he does a great job killing time for his teammates. Ball comes to him. He's going to have to flip into this ball, but the way he does it, he rolls it. So he makes sure as it rolls up the wall, so he has another chance to go for it. And not necessarily trying to hit the ball super hard so it bounces straight out like this, right? He rolls it up, which is great. What we don't want to see is we hit it off the wall like this, and it bounces out. Now we're flying this way we don't have the momentum to challenge this right and uh it just gives a nice pass to our opponents which is not nice we don't want that With good speed we're just trying to be freaky fast here and then we're going to rotate out which is just picture perfect gc play is what we want to see all right so our teammate back passes i want to double check are they all on a team they are okay some teammate backs back back passes. I'm sure we have some comms going on here too. Good touch. Nice 50. Just very solid, and then he just gets out. Could be getting some more little boost pads. The padding on that was a little off, but overall, I mean, we got we got the boost we needed. We're back in the play. Ball goes middle. Very awkward. Thankfully, we were able to get the touch. I mean, I was worried about not, not being able to get a touch on this. Um, I was thinking initially that he should... I'm like, oh, turn, 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 and just put your nose on it. But, you know, thankfully he noticed that the other guy was going and tried to get a 50 more. So, and then this, the, the double to finish it off was beautiful. Give me, re give me replay analysis. No, I'm going to bed after this one. All right, let's see what's going on with this. We're going up the wall. It's tough, realistically, like with this play. I mean, as our teammate already is, uh, 
you know, as this ball is already kind of going up the middle here, this ball is going to come out really quickly. So going up the wall actually isn't the best way to like cut this off. You just got to, you know, if in this case we probably want to be into the corner, that way we can go off the back wall and attack something like this. Or, you know, go back up the side wall and attack. Or in general, just stay on the ground and just try to jump up and cut this off if we want to be really quick. So going up the, up the side wall, I mean, I think it just puts you out of position where this pass is effective. But you get back in time, so it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter because you got back in time. So everybody got back. We get another big 50, which is great. Missed the boost, which is unfortunate, but that's all right. Let's vibe back. Play the ball to the side. Good touch. Ah, uh, but nothing comes out of it after the fact. The touch was great, but you know it just you have the, such a heavy touch, and then you jump right away because you're assuming for the you're assuming you're getting 50 again. So that's just kind of where the play like fell apart. It's not like your dribble was bad. You just assumed the wrong thing and then had to make the best of it. So we get back in time though. Everything's good. Yes, very fast. Love that. Just a little off. This is like the next step. Like once we get to higher GC play, you know, this is GC1. But once we touch this higher GC play, we're putting this off the middle, the meaty part of the backboard, the middle of it. So that a uh, flip reset, or not flip reset, a double tap is possible, right? Uh, this one, we just kind of get up to it and we play it wide. There really isn't anything you can do with it after that. So... It is threes, we are trying to go fast, so sometimes that stuff falls to the wayside, which is fine. I mean, that's the, it is what it is. All right, getting this boost. We gave him a lot of time here because we did go for boost. Uh, we do have 12, so I get why we did it. But, you know, we gotta be ready for the ramifications. This is where talking would be really good. I'm sure you guys did, because you all didn't go, so that was nice. <clears throat> so we're just playing, uh, we're just gonna play, like, second or third man here. We're trying to play up, waiting for see if uh, our teammate can get this through, but realistically, I mean, there's, like, two or three defenders now. I don't, it's very low that's gonna go through. I like that you backed off, but I think you're just a little too close because of all this, because you're trying to, for that pass... With that shot, you're just a little too close. Got to make a last second attempt at jumping for it. And then, you know, they just blast the ball off the back wall a bunch of times. Um, yeah, it's tough. Realistically, probably just staying back a little farther and trying to accept that third man roll. Because, I mean, as we see our teammates, you know, yes, we're in the middle of the field. But, like, for this ball to get to the middle... Off this back wall, like, it's going to take a lot to get through everybody. And, like, as the farther we get up field like this, the angle that we can go for, it narrows significantly. So, like, this ball kind of has to perfectly blast forward across the net like this, and then we could score it. So, that's kind of what we're covering. Realistically, Lost Inca 36 just subscribed with Prime. Thanks, Loss. I really appreciate that, man. Um, realistically though this ball is probably going to go off this if this ball goes off the back wall really hard and comes out we're going to be going so far so fast forward that we're not going to be able to jump high enough to actually hit that into the net I feel so that's why maybe just staying slightly back and just waiting to see what happens probably is the better play it is also threes though and I, I mean, I'll say this a lot with threes replays we could take risks because we can afford two and threes. Uh, in this case, we kind of just get a little too far forward. Low boost as well. And uh, ends up in the goal. Um, also, as we're moving forward here, like we have 84 boost. And by the time we actually push all the way forward, we have 37 too. So maybe our boost usage is a little inefficient there as well. Because now we have 31 boost to go for this challenge. We're never going to get there in time. And, you know, we know the result. So, 
It is unfortunate. Oh, good challenge there. Low boost, so this is going to be a little tough. But you do a good job. You rotate around and get some nice boost pads. Being gra uh, aggressive, being fast on defense, which is great. Backflipping a lot, which <laughs> I don't know if that's on purpose. Maybe you have a reason for it. Ah, the 50 doesn't work in our favor. Maybe they get past us. And then, yeah, just a really powerful hit there. Try to rotate back post. It works out. You actually get the save, which is nice. But yeah, the pressure is just too much. Um, we're just not seeing that, like, you know, we're getting this, these touches, but, like, we're just not seeing that next step where we're actually clearing the ball past them. The ball is just kind of hovering in spots where they can just blast the ball really hard around your goal. And it's just forcing you guys to use resources until eventually you succumb to the pressure and get scored on. Right? Which is unfortunate. I mean, that's not... Realistically, it is unfortunate that, uh... You know, none of the clears have worked out. Oh, that sucks. Two whiffs. Let's go back. We can look at that. A little sting. Yeah, it's just where your where your car's facing. You know, as you as you jump for this, you know, your car is like. I try to draw a straight line here, but your car is facing here, and this ball just kind of bounces like this. You just never have time to actually turn. It's unfortunate. It's a bit of a misread. Not much you can say about that. We're sitting deep in the net. I don't necessarily love deep in the net. Um... I don't like sitting this deep because it really restricts your ability to go up the back wall and defend. It does give you more time to like get to these awkward pl these spaces, but like I think that the disadvantage of not being able to go up the back wall is too great to throw away by doing this. So and then yeah, we just don't have a uh you think Yes, just uh, one sec. I'll explain after this replay how to do that. So, I mean, if we're looking at our teammates here. Yeah, that's not our teammate. You know, this is all tough. Our teammate goes. He's going for boost, not the ball. Let's watch this again. So, he plays it to the side. Tries to go for it. Trying to find boost. I mean, it's just tough. The ball, it just happens all so fast. And that's just what GC is. A lot of times these plays are going to happen really, really fast. And, like, what else can you do realistically? I mean, it's the simplest, like, the smallest mistake of he hit this ball too hard off the corner and it bounced out where Joe John was able to get a pretty solid 50. You know, that 50 could have been better for XN here. But yeah, the ball just bounced out, and it's, it's the casualties of being in GC, right? Like, oh my gosh. That's what's going to happen. You just got to find ways to, like, just make those slightly better touches, keep that possession, and not have it get th taken away from you. Because right now, like, look, we got a good 50, but, like, we're not there to follow it up. We get played best by... Jeff ski there ball goes hard off the back wall So now we try to clear it, but then we don't have the follow-up. There's no one we aren't getting that extra touch And then Jeff ski plays it to the middle where it's super dangerous So I mean that's just kind of what it comes down to right like Orange team is getting a touch and then they're getting another touch and then they're getting another touch and then you know the 50 goes hard and then they get another touch, you know. That's where we're seeing, like, all these touches are comp compounding onto each other where the ball is just moving too fast. And 
too far away from you guys. You want to see more of like just control from you guys. I mean that double that's a, that's nasty. I don't know how you defend that either, but you know, we see a lot with you guys where you know, someone clears that someone makes a play but no one's there to follow it immediately. When you guys are playing well, it was fast. It was like multiple touches from you guys. When you played bad, it was on the back foot, allowing them multiple touches. How to fix that? I would say it's just with time, you just become faster and anticipate this higher pace of the game better. Um, you're kind of at the point where, you know, at GC, like the next step is SSL. It's literally the best rank of the game, right? So if you want to be to that top, you know, top portion of the game, you got to, you know, sure up all your mechanics and you got to sure up possession and all that. Mechanically, it looked like the orange team was better just because they were able to get multiple touches, were able to keep that possession, play the ball away from you, put it in dangerous spots, and, you know, do it with speed and do it with purpose. Whereas you guys would clear it and then, like, you know, there would be a 50, the 50 would go bad. Now you're in a bad spot where they have an infield pass and you get scored on, right? So just honing in on those mechanical things, getting to, making it so you can have more purposeful touches in a row, you guys will be much better off. So hopefully that helps, Thomas. I appreciate you sending in the replay. Thank you again.